picture the scene. I'm at Waverley Station, ready for my first long distance train journey in 18 months. I'm really excited because it's my first time traveling on an LNER Azuma train. Just like that one. I've got my vlogging camera. I'm about to make my first vlog trip report in 18 months and then Disaster strikes. I get a tap on the shoulder with a gentleman who stops me from filming on the station. Welcome to Rog Talks. I arrived at Waverley Station early to take some establishing shots of the concourse of other trains. I watched the Azuma train that I would be travelling on arrive into the station. I was about to do the introduction to the vlog, you know the bit that goes, welcome to Rog Vlog, when all of a sudden these two gentlemen came up to me and said, I'm sorry sir, but you can't take video on this station platform. I said, well, I'm a bit surprised about that because I've filmed on the station many times. I'm a train enthusiast. You can't take Video without permission. I mean, we don't know whether you're not scoping out the entrances and the exits to plan some criminal activity. Actually, if I was planning some criminal activity, I wouldn't be conspicuously standing in the middle of the concourse with a big camera, would I? Surely I'd have something a little more inconspicuous. I said I'm a train enthusiast and this is for a video that I'm doing about my first trip on an Azuma train and I'm so excited about it. He said, I'm sorry sir, but you'll have to go to reception and register and ask for permission. And I said, well that's fine. And let's be clear here. These gentlemen were not being rude, maybe a little bit passive aggressive, but they weren't being rude. So I went to reception and the lady says, you can't take video on the station for commercial purposes. I said, I'm not filming for commercial purposes. I'm filming a personal vlog because I'm a train enthusiast. Well, I better go and get the manager and he'll have to have a word with the you. The manager came down and he was very polite as well. And actually, after we'd had a conversation about the fact that I was a train geek and about the fact that I like taking video and photographs of trains on stations, he was absolutely fine about it. He said, no problem. You can film and take photographs on the station, but it's always a good idea to register here at reception. So I said, how long will it take to register? And the lady says, it's going to take about 15 minutes. Problem is, my train was leaving in five minutes time. So I had to leg it to catch that Azuma. Upshot of it was, I didn't get the introduction done. I didn't get the establishing shots done. I didn't even have time to take decent footage of the actual train I was traveling on. When I got on the train, I did start to take some video, but it became clear very quickly that I didn't have enough footage to make a decent vlog. After the journey finished, I went onto the Network Rail website and found that indeed, they do welcome people onto platforms to take photographs and to film the trains. It's not a problem. The website does recommend that you go to reception to register or at least to tell them what you're up but to. But here's the thing, pretty much everybody on a train station these days is going to have a mobile phone in their pocket and that mobile phone will be capable of taking 4K video footage as well as fantastic photographs. And no doubt all of those people with mobile phones might want to take selfies on the station, they may want to take photographs of the trains, or if they're into architecture they might want to take the picture of the architecture of the station. Did every single one of them have to register with reception? Could it have been that it was just the fact that I had a bigger than normal camera in my hand that a attracted the attention of those two security guys. I felt like a bit of a criminal caught doing something illegal rather than simply innocently following my passion and filming trains in stations. In future I will register with reception but I hope that they realize that there are people like me who love taking photographs and video of trains and I hope that they won't make it too complicated that it becomes something that I actively try to avoid doing in future. Thank you for listening to Rog Talks. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and maybe tell me your stories about how you have been prevented from filming in your favorite locations. Until the next video, remember there's always something to see, so get out there and find it.